Welcome to the 26 video on building a social network with Go. On this video we will introduce a little bit of testing. Normally, you should do testing alongside development. But since this is a tutorial, I didn't want to bore all of you while recording. To test, interfaces are your best friends. Here, I created a service interface with the same exported methods from the service struct. We will use it here instead. Now we can pass a mock and do unit testing. For that, we will use the mock library from Matt Ryer. So, here we have the mock version of our service that satisfies the interface and that we will use during our tests. Today, we will test the send magic link handler. You can follow this as an example and test all handlers the same way. We will use a list with different test cases. We start by defining the dependencies to run those tests. And now we write a test function using those dependencies from our test cases. Here, we want to do a request to the endpoint and test the response. I will simplify the code here a little bit. We can use an actual test server using the HTTP test package. So we can test routing as well. Here we can use the test server URL. There. Now we can start adding some test cases. First, let's test JSON parsing. We don't need to define either the body, nor the service, for this one. I want to test the response. But first, I'll add a little helper function that will reduce the lines of code. We will use reflection to compare the two values. First, we check that the response status code matches 400. Then, we check that the response body matches invalid request body. I'll add another helper function to read the response body as text. There. Now let's run the test. It failed. The response body didn't match. That's because we are responding directly with what JSON decoding returns. Now it's fixed. Now let's try with a malformed body. Good. So, this part of the code should be tested. Let's continue with the service. The first error we can get is for an invalid email. Let's test it. This time we will pass a valid JSON body. The status code should be 422. And the response body should be invalid email. This time we need to define the mock service. So, our mock service will always return with invalid email, and we can focus on testing the HTTP response for that error only. So far so good. 
Let's continue with the invalid redirect URI. Here, the body didn't match on the casing. Fixed. Let's continue with user not found. This time the status code should be 404. I'll make this function run as a goroutine instead. There are no more errors, just the internal ones. It failed, because casing. There, fixed. Now we can run the last case, when everything went OK. We expect a status code of 204. Nice, but we forgot to test the request body and see if the input is properly passed on to the service. We cannot test them right here, because we don't have the variable t on the function scope. But thanks to the mock, we get access to the arguments the mock was called with. We will save that type and add a test function similar to the one we used to test the response. Now we can test the call arguments in this function. Whoops. There. I just want to change the response here to, bad request. And there we go. We have this method completely tested. I just want to toggle the code coverage to see if it's true. Yes. Looks like it. We have even routing under coverage. That is thanks to the test server. So that's all for this video. The same technique can be applied to test the whole package. See y'all.